here is my Colvac system. Five gallon pail with a toilet bowl floor flange on the bottom. Just cut a simple hole, measure with a pencil, the circumference, and cut a hole. Mount it with bolts and some washers and nuts. Uh, the top is a lid that it comes with at Home Depot. I cut a uh, three quarter inch plywood to fit inside of the top of the cap. And then you have your 45, you want the gradual grade or gradual slope. I guess I, I'm not sure what they really call it. Um, you don't want the sharp 90s, you want the gradual 90s. And uh, basically what you do is you cut a, a short little three inch piece of PVC and you're gonna add either a coupler underneath where the wood side is on this lid and you glue everything together and it holds itself. Um, you don't want it to come down too far. I think on the other side of this I have a coupler or a 90, I'm not sure. And this one on the vacuum side I have a, a coupler underneath. So as you can see there's the vacuum hose here. I just duct taped it right to the, the 90. And that's about it. Uh, to explain how to do it, um, not too bad. You need hole saws for that. Um, pick them up at Harbor Freight. They're cheap there. You can get like a set of 10 of them for, I don't know, maybe 15 bucks or less. So save yourself some money. But all your 90s, you want this gradual grade. You don't want the sharps because uh, I found out it'll, it'll get clogged up on you pretty quick. All right, we'll give it a test run here, see how it does. Okay, so I haven't developed a uh, cap yet for it. So I'm, right now I'm just using cardboard. It's in the, uh, I'm just in the testing process on this. Finally got it working pretty good here, so. Kind of start changing sound here. There it is. And then your cardboard will fall. And there's all that mess-free coal. This is oiled coal, so there is no dust anyway. But you can see how simple it is to get a nice five gallon pail of coal into your hopper. Now you don't get a full five gallons because of the flange. It's gonna leave some coal in here all around it that never kind of comes out, but works pretty good. Okay, bringing you to the coal bin to show you real quick. Two inch PVC coming down from the ceiling to a 45 and then I just hammer with a rubber mallet your uh, pipe down and it goes right through. This is rice coal um, and what you want to do is add about, I added six holes, I drilled six holes into uh, that pipe that's going into the coal. It's going to prevent air locking or clogging. Um, if you don't do that, it's just not going to run right. It, it takes some tweaking. You could tape the holes if you have to with duct tape to cover them up. Um, but I found I was adding holes up here above the grade and didn't do as much for me. Um, I only have one above grade now and I have six below grade and it seems to be running great. Now maybe I could add more now and try it out. It's, it just takes some tweaking. Uh, but once you get it working, it seems to be uh, pretty reliable here. Uh, again, this is just a brand new setup, so we'll see how it works.